Hello, hello. Okay, so I know we've did the videos on the hacking and the highlight and the contour for Mascara Beauty, and so you all have asked about the Milk Skin Caroline, and so I thought I would do a video of how I use the Tris Leche's Skin Caroline through Mascara Beauty. Um, I am going to exfoliate and everything tonight, so I'll get started. I'm ready to get this cleaned up. Get this mop out of my hair or out of my face. I should probably wash the mop out of my hair too. All right, these are the Mascara Beauty facial wipes and they have aloe in them. And I'm gonna say this, if this is the only thing that you use to wipe off your makeup, it's not doing the trick. These, basically what I do is I see the difference between removing makeup and cleansing. So I use these just to remove my makeup before I cleanse. If this is the only thing you're doing, you are doing nothing but spreading around bacteria and excess makeup. And it's not, I can promise you, it's not, not, not getting it all off at all. So I use these to wipe off and look at how good that it gets this off there. So like I said, this is usually my first step in anything. I feel like there is a difference between makeup removing and cleansing. I don't feel like you can cleanse your face and get all your makeup off. I feel like I'd have to clean it twice. I usually go through at least three because my eyelashes, I like to just kind of go in and wipe those gently. I'm not trying to lose any more than I already have in my lifetime. So I just gently rub that. Maybe if we could focus a little bit. And this doesn't bother my eyes at all. I think it's because of the aloe that is in them. Um, but they are very, very gentle, which the cleanser doesn't bother my eyes either. The milk cleanser. And it's got good stuff in it as well. So, anywho, once I feel like I have gotten all of my makeup off, then I will go in with my milk cleanser. Big bottle, lasts forever. I've had it for months, it's still pretty full. It's actually, this one is the newer one. It's the spray. They did have the dropper. So once I've done that, I'll get my microfiber cloth for mascara as well. These things are amazing. Um, and even if you don't order the microfibers from mascara, any microfiber will work. They take makeup off greatly. And what I do is I just dampen it a little bit with some warm water. I don't get it completely soaked. And I wring out the little bit just so that it's damp. And then I take my cleanser. I'm over my sink too, in case y'all were wondering. And I spray all over my face and my neck. And I take my microfiber cloth. Start with my neck up to my chin, my ears. Now this is what I'm gonna show you. This is what I'm talking about for you girls that are just using makeup wipes. Okay, I mean, I just used three of them and you've seen what came off of those makeup wipes or onto those makeup wipes and what came off my face, correct? All right, this is why I say, if you think you are removing all of your makeup with makeup wipes, you aren't. I mean, look at that. If I would have just planted my face into that, I'd have probably had a face print. And I mean, these are the, the makeup wipes. I didn't get it all off with just those, okay? So, do your skin a favor and don't just use makeup wipes, okay? Because you're doing nothing but hurting yourself, I promise. I have not had one single blemish at all, not even hormonal blemish, since I started using the Milk Skin Care line and mascara products. I mean, no lie whatsoever. 
Now see, this is the other side. I got a little bit more off. That's kind of from this side, what you're seeing through, but not as badly. All right. So once I've done that, this is actually the milk mask and it is an exfoliator. I kind of make sure my face is dry just a little bit and it's got this cool little pump thing on the top. The good thing about an exfoliator is a lot of people say, I don't have time to exfoliate. It takes too long. Three to five minutes. I mean, it even says on here that, you know, one to two times weekly. It even says in the box when you get it that, you know, if it irritates your skin because you leave it on too long, you know, that's kind of on you because they tell you it only takes a few minutes. I usually, and sometimes this will like really pop up. This one's new, so I've got to get it. Let's see how it's coming up to the top of there. I usually do about three pumps. I don't know if you can see that or not. See the glob there? I do about three pumps and I take and I rub it in all over my face, all down my neck. And it's a really, really creamy mask exfoliator. I get it right in those lines between my eyebrows all the way to my hairline, my lips, my nose, and the corners, places where, you know, skin, dead skin cells tend to build up. And don't forget about your precious neck, okay? Now, while this is sitting on my face, I will go in with my microfiber cloth and I will rinse it out really, really good. And the milk cleanser tends to help it, you know, bring out all of the makeup. So excuse me while I disappear down here to my sink for a second. And as I'm doing this, I can feel like a tingle in my skin. I can feel this mask doing exactly what it needs to do. Um, let's see here. Ingredients, cultured skim milk, purified water, honey, sodium citrate. I mean, it's it's got vitamin E, vitamin A, sorbic acid, glycol. I mean, glycolic acid is amazing for your skin. It takes that dead layer of skin off your face. So, I mean, it has all fabulous stuff in it. I've never had a reaction um, I used to have real bad rosacea, and I've still got a little bit, but nothing compared to what I had before I started using this at all. All right, so we're looking at right at about two minutes. I've got my damp microfiber cloth. So I'm going to go in and start wiping off this mask and this exfoliator. And I can still feel it working its magic on my skin and it's almost like refreshing when you go to wiping this off and feel what it's done to your skin it's like my skin can breathe so and I flip my microfiber towel over and just go one more rub to make sure I've gotten all of that off and don't forget the the gentle parts you know you don't want to get it in your eyes but I try to get as close as I can in these crow's feet and my lips and my neck you know those places we tend to forget sometimes and all right so now that I've done that I do my milk mask two times a week three times depending on where I've been and, and if I've been outside a lot or dirty a lot or whatever um, and then I have a toner <laughs> excuse me, which is part of it also. I only tone about once a week. It has aloe in it and all the other good stuff that the mask does as well, but um, a toner tends to kind of make my skin feel sticky if it's not really needed. Like if my pH balances and things are all kind of in check, I can tell that my skin's a lot stickier than what it should be, but I haven't toned in a week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a toner. This is also a spray bottle, just like the cleanser. So what I do is I just spray with my eyes shut, a fine mist, and then I just kind of rub it in. A very fine mist of toner is all I ever do. And if you feel better about it, you can even, like if I need, I need to do my neck, 
squirt it on your hand. Or some people get the little the little rubber pads, you know, that you can use. I actually use it in the shower, the little rubber. Um, it's got like little bumps on it. I use it in the shower with my milk mask when I do, or my milk cleanser when I do it in the shower. All right, there's my toner. So last but not least to lock all of this in for the night is the Fabulous Milk Moisturizer Cream. If you don't buy anything else in the milk line, buy the moisturizer. It's fabulous, it's great for sunburns, it's great for Malaysia, it's great for the rosacea, it is great for wrinkles and fine lines. I mean, I am 41 years old and my skin didn't look this good when I was in my 20s. I don't think it looked this good in high school. And I was never one that had bad acne or anything, but I'm just loving my skin. Those people you hear them say, love your skin, or I love my skin, I mean, you think, I love my skin. Once again, it's got the cool little pump. I usually do twice. Didn't come out as good the first time. I just take my finger once again. My toner has dried real good. And once again, don't forget your neck. Okay? Your lips. You will be amazed what this does for your lips. Forehead around your eyes. And I take the excess and I use it on my hands, around my cuticles. It's fabulous for that. I mean, there's girls that even use it on their feet to make their feet soft in the spring and the summertime. I mean, it's just, it's great. This is just probably one of the best moisturizers I have ever used. And like I said, I am usually a combination skin and sometimes more on the oily side. And I've never had a problem with this. I've never had a breakout when I woke up the next morning, nothing. Usually I only have to use it at night. I don't have to use it again in the morning. It, it does a really good job. And my stay spray before I do my mascara highlight and contour usually helps to do whatever, you know, needs to be done to my skin for my makeup to go on flawlessly. So with that being said, that's pretty much my nightly skincare routine and it's probably one of the best most refreshing products that I have ever used like tomorrow night since I exfoliated tonight and toned tonight tomorrow night I'll just have to wipe off my makeup and cleanse and moisturize and that's it so if you guys are interested they actually sell the microfiber cloths in a box of three and the box is cool it's got a little drawer I actually use that box now for all of my brushes um, these are fantastic. Wash them, use them over and over again. I love mine. Or you can purchase the Tres Leche skincare line, which is the cleanser, the toner, and the moisturizer. The mask actually comes separate. It's actually new and it comes separate, but I'm going to tell you, you can buy these all separate as well. You can also purchase the mascara makeup wipes. But if you don't get anything else, I'm telling you right now, the moisturizer is well worth the money. I have paid much more than $50 for a moisturizer or a skincare line. The entire skin skincare set is $140. I've been to the counters in the mall and that kind of thing, and I've had people pulling me to the center of the mall to try to sell me three and $400 worth of skincare lines. And you know what I'm talking about, the big names that are out there. $140 you get all of this and the mask is separate it's I believe it's 50 as well but for less than $200 you can have it all so you can find that link on my page finding fabulous on Facebook or I will actually put it in the bio but there you have it that's how I'm taking care of my skin with my mascara beauty products I hope everybody has a good night thanks for watching